Welcome back to the City Current Radio Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're honored to be joined by our next guest. He is with Eat Well Nashville. He's the Director of Sales, and his name is Matthew Ford. How are you doing, Matthew? Oh, I'm great, Jeremy. How are you today? Doing well. So Eat Well Nashville, we'll talk all about uh, what you're doing. A lot of the pivots, obviously, that are taking place with COVID-19 and the pandemic. Uh, but I think it's really cool what you're doing in terms of those pivots to still be able to help and be able to power the good. So let's start with a little bit of context. Give us some history for Eat Well Nashville. Okay, absolutely. So uh, Eat Well Nashville was founded in 2016 on the goal of helping the people of Middle Tennessee live a happy and healthy life. Uh, the way we went about doing that was just by providing people deliciously healthy, fully prepared meals through contactless delivery, which obviously is very important right now during COVID, uh, the contest, contactless act aspect of everything. Um, so we took the hassle out of cooking and meal prep so we can provide the busy people of our you know, hardworking Nashville community, a healthy alter alternative to restaurants and an easy alternative to cooking. Yeah, I was about to say, it's, it's actually perfect for what we're dealing with in terms of being prepared on your end and, and making it convenient and easy. And so, as you mentioned, healthy is a big piece of this and you've got all sorts of, I mean, just when you go to your websites, like there's a ton of teasing involved in terms of delicious, uh, you know, meal items, but everything from the ginger sesame meatballs, you've got the blackberry chicken salad, kimchi tofu scramble. So you kind of have a little bit, you know, you've got something for everyone, but it's oh, all yeah. built around obviously healthy food. So, so talk about kind of the recipes and the inspiration. Okay, so we have uh, our, head our head chef, Monica. She's from California. She's actually vegan herself. So she's very creative at um, coming up with things, you know, that aren't very normal to most people, but it's a very common diet now. You know, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, uh, Whole30, keto. We kind of do a little bit of everything. So she is great at the mini development of making those things still, you know, very tasteful, very unique. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of success with that. And, just being able to offer about 50 or so options per week, you know, with rotating about four or five out each week. So the menu stays fresh, you know, still staying healthy and um, appealing to our entire audience. The nice thing is too, when you talk, talk about the price point, it's a very reasonable price point too. So I think that's another thing is it's one thing it's healthy food, but you're making it accessible with the price point. So talk about kind of the, the pricing and the way it works and just the, the overall structure of it. Yeah, so absolutely. So uh, our founders, um, they, they kind of traveled around the country and talked to some of the best, the best before they started, you know, came up with the idea for Ewell Nashville. And, you know, we found a price point around $9 uh, was our average for, uh, for our meals. So, you know, very affordable, especially as an alternative to restaurants or, you know, going to groceries once a week that can add up. So, you know, for as far as convenience goes, we think it's, you know, affordable and, um, and very convenient for people you know they place their order by friday at 11 a.m and then they can have meals delivered really directly to their door the following sunday or monday or we we partner with gyms around town you know that a lot of people go to and they can pick up their bag of meals there also and then on your end talk about you know there was one side where catering was a piece of this and obviously kind of buffet style and that's you know with everything going on gone by the wayside and so you know, the, the, the pivots on that end have been really instrumental. But like you said, the contact contactless delivery has been a huge advantage on your end. It was already kind of built in. But talk about the pivots and the business model and just kind of, you know, some of the things that you've had to do as a result of COVID-19. Okay. Yeah. So um, luckily, the business model from the meal prep side of the business was already in place. And, um, you know, that, that kind of pivoted us to really just succeed during COVID because people you know, obviously at the beginning people were afraid and didn't want to leave the house you know and i don't think anyone did so we we're already in the position to deliver to their homes you know take that half a lot of going out to the grocery or going out to get takeout you know um, a healthy alternative to that as well as uh you know um but then we have the catering side of the business which took a huge hit so it was nice that the meal prep arm um, was able to kind of sustain us and allow us still provide jobs to these, our hardworking kitchen. Um, you know, we're very uh, grateful for that. Yeah, and I think that's kind of a success story in and of itself, where unfortunately with many others having to furlough or lay off their team, you, like you said, have been able to keep your team and, uh, and manage through this. And the other 
really neat aspect is that not only have you been able to maintain, but you've you've really been able to still be generous and power the good and work with nonprofits and different entities. And so talk about the collaboration and working with different organizations to be able to still help out and empower the good. Yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, we always try to be as involved in the community as we can. We partner with a lot of uh, country singers, Preds players, Titans players, you know, we just try to get the name out and work with different organizations around town. But uh, I guess it started mainly when the tornado happened you know beginning of march we uh we went up and set up catering type um stations in germantown and some of the majorly affected areas and uh just donated the meals as victims and volunteers and we could try to find hot spots where a large number of people were gathering and just trying to figure everything out because what everything they had was wiped out you know it was, it was very tough to see so we we volunteered by serving food and then going to help clean up and just spent a couple of days doing that that week and then Obviously, two weeks later, you know, we got hit by COVID. So it was just back-to-back, -back, you know, tough times for, for Nashville and for everyone. So uh, we uh, we do a lot of work with the country legend Kip Moore. Um, and he's, his foundation is Kip's Kids. So we partnered with him again. And he was, you know, brought the concern of children, you know, in underprivileged areas not having the meals that they normally would while at school because school was canceled. So uh, we partnered with him and uh, the West National Dream Center as uh, our main charitable partner. And we're able to, through their mobile food truck, we provided meals to a whole bunch of families around town that, you know, were struggling with their children not having meals. And um, I think we were doing about 1,200 meals a week, which, you know, we really enjoyed. And we're really grateful that we were able to partner with him. And then uh, Dan and Shay heard about it. And Shay Mooney joined in. And then, uh, He's a great guy. You know, all all of them are. It's amazing what they want to do and are able to do. And then uh, Chrissy Metz actually heard about it. And from This Is Us, that show on ABC, and uh, she joined in and donated to us too. So we were just very grateful and, you know, awed by everyone's, you know, just their ability to, to donate during a tough time. Absolutely. And I think, you know, dark times – are, are obviously dark and difficult, but at the same time, they also bring out the light and they bring out the best in people in some cases where you get to see people come out with their heart and they want to serve and help others. And I think, you know, obviously everything you're talking about is exactly that, where people are coming out and saying, hey, I want to be able to help and let's work together and lift our community and, and especially provide food and nourishment. And so how, how has this kind of, you know, changed your perspective in terms of what you and your team are able to do. I mean, you look at the stories already, like you said, of just all these people coming in and connecting with you and collaborating and really, you know, working to do something special. How has this changed your perspective and just your thoughts around what you and your team are doing now? Oh, so, I mean, it's obviously made me very appreciative too, that we're still able to, to work and, you know, to provide this, this service to people who are just trying to live a semi-normal life, you know, you know, nothing's normal anymore right now. And we're able to, you know, make them feel like it is, you know, with a healthy food option that can be delivered to them, you know, every week. So, you know, very grateful for that and very grateful for the opportunity to, to partner with, you know, like-minded people that have the means to, to help us continue our mission of helping people live just happy and healthy. What's something that you've learned, you know, either yourself or, you know, on the business side, going through everything we're going through with COVID-19, but something that you say, you know what, this is difficult, but it's a lesson we've learned and we're going to come out stronger on the other side. So what's something that uh, you think is a good lesson that you're going to come out stronger on the other side with? Um, so I guess my favorite thing is, you know, um, you know, one of my favorite things is to innovate or die. You know, you got to adapt, you got to pivot, you got to keep moving forward. You know, we've, we've been in operation the entire pandemic. So, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people working from home, but we haven't really experienced that yet because we've, you know, made it our mission to keep, keep feeding people. So I think the best thing we can do is just to keep moving forward, you know, um, like, like all things, you know, this, this will go away too. So um, just got to be persistent and, you know, adapt. And like I said, for catering, we pivoted to an individually packaged meal rather than our traditional buffet style. So that's, you know, that's, done really well with a lot of people that still need meals, you know, hospitals, um, you know, anybody in the medical field, they're, they're still working too. So 
we provided a lot of hospitals and doctors and nurses with individual meals and it's been great also yeah yeah i mean it's to me it's a it's a brilliant and, and powerful pivot but it opens up the floodgates really not just now but really moving forward um tease us a little bit because you know on your menu talk about some of either your personal favorites or just some of the things that you say hey you need to try these things and like you said i know yeah. the menu rotates but what are what are some of yeah. the two favorites that everyone should try um so my personal ones obviously the flank steak is really hard to beat we rotate a couple flank options uh, every week we always have flank steak, you know, they're very creative. It'd be a chimichurri one week, to a corn salsa type flank steak the next week. And then our meatballs are fantastic. So those ginger sesame ones you mentioned earlier, delicious. Uh, we do honey barbecue, we do coconut mango, you know, all kinds of different options when it comes to meatballs. I'm, my mouth's watering a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then our, for whole 30, the, the bruschetta burger is really good. Um, and that's gluten free also. Um, and then for vegan, I like our vegan Buddha bowl, it's kind of a mix of quinoa and you know, portobello mushrooms. You know, it's, it's delicious. It doesn't taste like it would be vegan, but I enjoy it a lot. Talk about the timing. Cause you mentioned, you know, if you order it on Friday and then there's pickup locations and you know, in other words, kind of walk us through the logistics of when, be, when people need to go ahead and place orders, how it works dive in a little bit to that piece a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So our website is just eWellNashville.com. Um, Instagram is eWellNash. We're very active on social media. Um, so once they sign up for text or email or whatever they prefer, um, they'll get email and text updates throughout the week uh, with our new menu options, our, um, you know, deadline reminders because, you know, people are busy. It's, I, I forget to some people forget the, the deadline on Friday. So it's 11 a.m. every Friday. If you order by then throughout the week, you can pick up, you can choose a pickup or delivery and we'll deliver either to your home for a small fee or to a, a nearby gym. If you're going to the gym and you want to grab your meals there, um, you know, very convenient. Or you could do pickup at our kitchen. And that's contactless as well. We have a fridge in the, in the, uh, in the hallway that we put their meals in whenever they're here. Yeah, perfect. And I, I love just the flexibility of, like you said, you know, get in before the deadline, you get the reminders, and then you can kind of plan it out your whole week and make it really easy. And talk about between, you know, family, kind of family friendly options, the the kids, the, you know, coworkers, like to your point, being contactless with the hospitals, there's a lot of ways that you can use your services. So talk about some of the different uses between the families, kind of the corporate side, give us some of those teasers. Okay. Yeah. So uh, before you know, pre-COVID, we were very popular with corporate lunches and things. So that's when we kind of pivoted to those individualized meals. So, you know, you can order, you know, say you need 10 meals for an executive meeting. You can order 10 of our meal preps, you know, for your meeting or, you know, so it's very um, usable by any type of industry really. And then uh, for nurses, we have a discount code for nurses and we, we generally send out, you know, to, to everyone, we send out at least our, that week's discount. So it might be free delivery. It might be, you know, order this amount, you get this amount off, you know, things like that. Promotion every week, you know, just to keep people, um, you know, keep people coming back and keep people loving the food, you know, and we get great feedback on that. And there's no minimums, no subscriptions, which, you know, is also a huge plus. Um, yeah, we have a lot of kid friendly, a lot of family friendly. We do family packs. So it'll be a serving of four. So it's a larger container, but, throw it in the oven and it's good to go, you know, whether it's lasagna or meatballs or um, whatever type of meal it might be. And then for kids, we do, you know, spaghetti, we have mac and cheese options. We have, you know, really anything you would need. Yeah, you make it easy. And that's the, the key is that for whatever you're kind of looking at, whether it's for you, your family, coworkers, corporate side, you know, that's the point is you've got something for everyone and you make it really easy. So go ahead and wrap up and talk about, you mentioned before, but the website, where to go. So where do we go? Okay. So you go to just eWellNashville.com. You'll see us. Uh, all our options are right there. You can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, really anything you need. We have keto snacks, protein pucks, you know, really just anything you need to get you through the week. Our Instagram is just at eWellNash. Um, we're very active on there. We love you know, hear what you have to say, love hearing feedback on the food and answer 
all the comments and messages we can and uh and also the same on facebook so just go follow us anywhere that you're on mostly and we'll we'll uh we enjoy having you absolutely well matthew ford director of sales eat well nashville thank you for all you and your team do thank you for coming on the show oh, thank you jeremy we really appreciate it